Okay, so let's talk about the benefits of cost loading in the schedule. I'm going to talk about them from both perspectives, the perspective of the owner and the perspective of the contractor. Let's start with the owner. The owner's often the one that requests a cost loaded schedule. They want to see earned value. They want to scrutinize and understand how their money is being spent. They want to make sure it's being spent fiscally, responsibly. <laughs> they want to forecast their cash flow and the payments to the contractor. The contractor, typically, because I've been, I've worked with quite a few contractors over the years. Typically, this is not an endeavor we want to engage in. We're reluctant to cost load our schedules. But if we do, we can also track our value. We can also better plan our cost outlays. Okay. We have expenses that we're not showing to the owner. And if we know basically how our money's coming in through a cost loaded schedule, we can better plan our expenses as well. We can forecast our cash flow, our income coming in, and basically better manage our cash flow based on project performance. And that last one is really the key here. It's about when work starts getting delayed or there's changes, that cash flow is going to change from the initial baseline that was approved as the baseline. And that's what we want. That's the real advantage here is being able to forecast as the changes to the project occur what my cash flow is going to be. Remember, we're talking about a fixed bid. So all of my costs are fixed and they don't vary with duration of the project. So if I'm late, then I'm still getting paid the same amount as whether I'm not late or I'm on time. Okay, there's some trade-offs I want you to be aware. I've thought about these quite hard. There's pros and cons to, um, and mainly this is from the contractor's pers perspective. You know, it's, it's mostly pros from the owner's perspective to have a cost-loaded schedule. But from the contractor, there's some pros and cons. So pros, we do get a time-phased budget. I put accurate star there because it's only as accurate as, as you, you can make it by your inputs, okay? Accurate forecasting along with the schedule accurate cash flows and then just more or less like i said the ability to be proactive in managing our costs because we have them all there changing as the schedule changes let's talk about the other side the cons why are we reluctant to do this well there's a couple of reasons it takes work it takes effort to cost load a schedule um my experience that we're going to talk about today is cost loading you know a very size um a very reasonably sized project 2000 lines i didn't make it any more than 2000 lines because the bigger they get the harder they are to manage from all aspects so it does take effort to put costs in to manage those costs it takes effort to maintain it takes effort for uh changes to look at a change request and change a schedule from from not just the um not just the time aspect but also from the cost aspect now also, some stuff doesn't work in P6. You can't put all of your costs in there, okay? Just like P6 is not a timesheets tool. Don't put all of your hours in there and try to track every down to every minute. It's not sophisticated enough. Um, my example here, and I'll talk about this more later, is interest. You can't put interest charges in P6. It just doesn't do it. It's not, accountant. It's not an accounting tool. It's not an invoicing tool either. But you can put your big general costs in there, okay? One of the other cons here is sharing the schedule that has costs on it requires some extra transparency. And most contractors like to keep things pretty close to their chest. And they have good reason to. I'm not judging them. But this definitely, went, once you put your costs in there, means working at a different level of transparency and comfort, talking about costs and, and having people scrutinize. Um, all of that stuff. Okay, I'm going to tell you how I cost loaded a schedule. And this, and this is based on a very recent experience as a scheduler working for a contractor. 